because it got abandoned because of the flooding but they opened up cross-country schooling so we thought we'd bring him down today to ride around the BE course and I thought I would bring you along to see how we get on. Had me down for the count I was on nine nine all the time shouted so Took control, but now I'm gone. Bye bye, bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cool. It's all that I get from you. You're so delusional. Now watch me take control. I've been running, running from myself like I'm somebody else. Kind of left me alone. All the love is gone. Now I'm coming around. Got a stake in the ground. Just walking back to the lorry park after our cross country schooling session. We sort of schooled around the course first, as you'll have seen. Hopefully, I've got some good videos. And then I, because we've been having a bit of a confidence crisis at Novice, so I've entered Troy for our next few events are at 100. So I then after we went schooling, I just took him round the 100 course and he flew round and was back to his keen bean self again. So that was very good. And he seems very happy with himself. So a bit hot and a bit sweaty, but smiley face is going back to the lorry after pretty much a cross country round. So I just thought I would explain a little bit about our cross-country issues that we've been having so you will have seen in the video that uh, we had a couple of stops and what around the cross-country mum does tend to stop filming when I do start having problems because she does like to try and watch to see where we're going wrong so we didn't actually I don't think 
get us going back over our said bogey fences. But anyway, basically, Troy is a lazy horse anyway. He uh, he is a bit backward. He does need really geeing up to go cross country and or to just do anything actually. He does need, you know, revving up a bit. Um, but, you know, the past few outings he has been a bit laid back usually he does spark up and really tank me cross country but he hasn't really been that sparky um and i think i've sort of been not really riding him properly because i'm a bit worried oh is something wrong uh is he why is he not keen to go cross country um and whatnot so anyway after he started off a bit laid back and then had a few stops at a fence, a, quite a simple hundred fence that should be really easy for him. Um, I did get after him a bit more, ride him a bit more, and he then, you know, got going a lot better and um, schooled really well around the rest of the course. And then, as I said, we I actually took him round the hundred and he was tanking me round like normal. So I think he might have just been taking the Michael a bit and just trying it on so fingers crossed we have cracked cracked that and hopefully back to the sort of normal Troy that enjoys his cross country um, because he does tend to switch off if we have a problem or something so hopefully we've got over that problem and I just was riding him like a bit of a flannel so yeah anyway he was very very good at the end and we've got an event at the weekend, so hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be back to his normal self then and be keen bean to go around the cross country. But we will see. We are back home now. I've just got Troy his dinner. Uh, it absolutely bucketed it down with rain. Um, by the time I'd got to the lorry, so we quickly washed Troy off, got everything together, threw him on the lorry, and headed home. A little bit wet, but we're back now. He is in his stable, just waiting for his tea, which I'm about to bring him. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. And I just wanted to say a massive thank you for tuning in to watch. And hopefully I will bring you another one soon. Thank you very much. Bye.